They're going to go off to the Confederation Cup, a little bit of game time and get them uh, a little bit more match fit. Yeah, it's been an, an unusual time for so many of them who'd finished their own seasons in Australia and have had that quite uneasy couple of weeks where they've been trying to tick over and stay fit for these uh, qualifiers, Confederations Cup, also friendlies as well, which haven't really come at a good time for so many of them. Familiar faces as well, you might have seen him just a second or two ago, Mark Clattenburg, who will referee this one. 13 years as a Premier League referee. West Brom against Leicester at the end of March was his final game. He's now the new head of referees at the Saudi Arabia FA as well. So an occasion for him to remember in this one here today at the MCG. The goalkeeper there for Australia who's coming back into the reckoning and also for Brazil. Diego Alves of Valencia will keep goal for this one here this afternoon. Or this evening, I should say. Local time as... There's an early attack on for Brazil here and there. Uh, shooting with intent very early in a record-breaking 10-second goal, you have to say. Well, he's been in here trying to prove a point for Brazil because he's not really had too many chances, Diego Souza. His first start for Brazil after two substitute appearances and what a bit of a thought to put into the mind of Tite, their manager, that he is hanging about just in case he's needed for the big World Cup. Well, it's a wonderful start, isn't it? It's a sloppy pass out from the back that really starts it all off. And then you don't give a player this ability, that sort of opportunity. The goalkeeper could maybe do be better, Langerak. I think it goes through his hand. He'll look at that and be disappointed. It was a decent enough strike. And what a wonderful start. Diego Sousa. Just couldn't wish for anything better than that, could he? Not with his first touch. This is when you play Brazil, because, you know, when they turn it on, they are absolutely sensational and very, very difficult to play against, so you're absolutely right. You don't want to be getting a, an absolute trouncing for, from anybody, but they hope can be at the corner of a lot of their set pieces. Melbourne victories, Tracy, who will try and flip one in. It's a free header, and they should really have scored. I'm not sure whether a flag had gone up in the end, but Cahill had come forward. There was an initial contact with the ball at the front post as well, but Brazil will think that they pushed out quite well there. But it was Billy Wright that actually... He's at, I think he's onside, to be honest with you. In fact, I'm sure he's onside. I think it might have been Cahill that was given offside. But side, though, caused Brazil a few problems. And as I said, the early cross had it been just delivered right. Yeah, no, the opportunity could come from a set play, and they have offered danger on one or two occasions from wide areas. Tim Cahill couldn't get his sighter on goal. One in. 3-2 finished up last week in Adelaide. Also beat the... UAE in late March as well, so they're in a good moment at the moment. And Luis looks to try and get the runaway again. A big Diego Souza. He did find his way in. Pretty tight though, that decision. Be interesting to see again. Yeah, it was close. I'm sure for you if you're watching on LFC TV as well, not just for his spatial injury, but also a shocking miss in the game as well. Having rounded the keeper and then hit the post in close range. A chance for Brazil from distance, an awful effort in truth though. Souza felt it got a nick on the way through, but 25, seeing some of the things that he had to do during the week in Australia as a, a captain. Went and met all the Australian players as they did a launch during the week as well. Australia trying to defend here. It's Souza with a nice flick and it caught Paulinho a little bit by surprise. It shouldn't have done. And it should probably have been the second goal. Well, situations like that, you have to expect, as a forward player, you, you have to expect this sort of dummy. It's a lovely little leave, is it, by Diego Sousa. Diego Sousa and it's the opportunities have come from long, lofted balls that you might have associated a bit more with Australia. But as you can see, they try and play as well. Could this be an opportunity from distance on the left foot there of the midfielder, James Truisi. The lead to Diego Sousa. But the response could have been one of surrender by Australia, but nothing like that. And they might get another chance here through Philippe Coutinho, who was impressive in that first half. And a shot on goal here into the side netting from Alexandro. Already as much action in the opening minute and a half of this game as probably we saw in the entire first half. Well, really good play from Philippe Coutinho. He realises he's got an awful lot of bodies about him. It's just a simple little pass. Jersey's coming in and near post, tries to cut it back. And gets intercepted. Continuing towards that front post, and Luis's header crashes against the crossbar. Still an opportunity, and it's gone in, and it will be claimed in the end by the big man Thiago Silva, I think. 
Initial credit has to go to David Luiz for the head of the crash against the crossbar, and Australia just couldn't get it clear. Brazil have a second goal. Well, it's very unlike a Brazil goal, you have to say. It's a really good header initially from David Luiz, and then it's all a little bit of a stramash in the goal mouth. And who wants it the most? Who jumps the highest? It's certainly Thiago Silva. A really good head up. You can see there he's in a really good position. He's still got quite a bit to do, really, because he's got a lot of bodies in front of him. But it really is a good leap. Gets up really high from a standing jump. No way he's going to be able to head it downwards, so he just heads it straight, more or less at the height he is, and it just comes in off the underside of the bar. Real scrappy. What he's going to do, because half the time you don't know whether David Luiz knows what he's going to do himself. On that occasion, the pass wasn't good. Cruz again in that little pocket of space from Australia's point of view, and there's a shot on goal coming in. Which to get his feet up for Willian, who of course was linked heavily with Liverpool at one point as well, and he gets a chance here in the opening exchange. He's got decent support inside from Souza, who should have scored really. Tried to size up the ball. Langerak just good save again, square passes cause the problems, but good with it, good vision there. And really, you would put money on them scoring on that sort of distance. Yeah, they kick themselves for that Australia, wouldn't it? Another opportunity that they completely gifted to. I think every football fan wants to see Brazil back at those levels again, don't they, where they're winning World Cups again? Well, I think they've sailed through the qualifying stages like with flying colours, haven't they? This is an opportunity maybe for them to come forward here and a free run on goal again. It's the goalkeeper that comes out on top. Palinho, Willian. They run outside of them from... Rafinha if he needs him, Paulinho, oh, Paulinho goes for the return, did well Bailey right in the end, big chance still, and Tyson's the man who gets it, just too much pressure in the end for Australia to try and get the ball clear, there was runs here and there off the ball as well, and the goalkeeper having made two or three really good saves, has to admit defeat on that one and Brazil have a third goal. Well, he had a chance earlier on that he kind of wasted, but he certainly doesn't waste this. This is more like the Brazil you expect and come to know. Lovely little interchange in place, play within the 18 yard box, little gives and goes, and sets it up. And a simple task for the young man who looks a little bit overwhelmed with his, with his goal. Just places it into the far corner, and it's very much a case of cruise control for Brazil now great play in there as well, as well from uh, certainly the difficulty you have uh, you know, if the season's finishing you've still got World Cup qualifiers and major competitions like the Confederation Cup doesn't it? yeah it was good but again decent build up from Australia as good as Cruz has been going forward, he was caught a little bit there, ball watching in a defensive situation Willian who swapped sides now, he's come over to this left to try and prevent uh, to create another goal, it's a decent run around the other side of Moy as well, chance for the fourth it's another good save from the goalkeeper not sure how much he knew about Fischels. Willian again, a lovely little give and go, change of pace is really a the reason why he gets cornered, committed a lot of men forward, as you might expect in Australia, just for one final hurrah, which has got a big cheer from the Australian fans. Way into one is that front post, it's cleared though, and there could be a counter on here for Brazil if they choose the right ball, the pace to burn of Willian. Tyson with a give and go, perhaps it was a poor ball in the eventual back pass and still a chance for Willian, and again it's the goalkeeper that keeps the score down. <laughs> It's probably the best save of the match, and it's come <laughs> off his own player. It's a kind of bizarre situation. We talked about it in the start of the game. This is the, the difference between the two sides. The pace of the build-up or, or the counter-attack from Brazil really cuts them to shreds, Australia. You'd have been telling him he should have held that, shouldn't you? Well, it's defender. just it comes so quickly out. <laughs> so unexpected as well. He's done really corner, well. and there is a chance for a fourth goal. And it's where it all started. And it'll be the last action of the game as a whole. Got the goal scoring underway after 11 seconds. Diego de Souza, and then he finishes things off with the last action of the play. It doesn't flatter Brazil too much. They've had plenty of chances. There is the header.
right into the corner of the goal and it's Brazil with a fourth goal here this evening. Well I think the irony is that the fact that it's a set play I think you would expect Australia maybe to defend that a little bit better maybe because of all the substitutions that communications maybe got lost a little bit but you've got to give them credit Sousa is a great header as it was with David Luiz as well something that you don't associate really with Brazil or Brazilian type players and literally it was the uh, the last action of the game as well for Brazil who approached this in the right way Tite was so so keen that so many of the younger players that haven't really been involved in these World Cup qualifiers were given the chance to provide him with a headache